The Azimio leader was in Siaya County in a series of activities that also saw him meet members of county assembly who have been at loggerheads with Siaya Deputy Governor William Odwal, who was saved by Kenya Kwanza legislators last week from impeachment. Tunda imechoka. Odinga taking his fight with President Ruto to a public baraza in Siaya, where he accused the government of lying to Kenyans during campaigns ahead of the general election last year, that the cost of living will be bearable should Kenya Kwanza government take over power. Ati hawataki garama ya maisha ipandishwe. Hawataki ushuru ipandishwe. Wakenya walikata. Tumefika wakati hatutaki watu ambao na hofu. Raila amesimamia inchi hii. Tukapata katiba. Raila amesimamia inchi hii. Tukapata devolution. The opposition leader says that the current parliament cannot be relied on to defend the poor as a good number of legislators have been compromised by the government. As a result, he says, Kenyans have decided to take over the power given to them by the constitution and will exercise it on July 7, 2023, to demand withdrawal of what he termed as punitive taxes. Azimio has further called for a public baraza this Friday where they are slated to announce their calendar in a fight over the Finance Act signed last week by the president but now stands suspended. Hawa jamaa wanataka kupandisha hali ya maisha na nguvu na kifua. Wakenya mpaka wakatai. Mwekata. Haka maku. Ika sema ya kwamba finance bill lazima izame. Aki keuka. Vile koti mesema. Sisi kama wakenya tutakeuka kwa sabu atutambui sirikali ya Kenya kanza. Azimio has been facing an onslaught from Kenya Kwanza, which has seen Odinga lose key legislators from Luonyanza to the government as the battle for the 2027 gains momentum. Martin Opio, K24 TV.